So Tom and I uh, and a couple of our other friends did the Great Range in the Adirondacks uh, two years ago in September. And now we've done the Devil's Path. Uh, in researching the Devil's Path, we came across a few Reddit posts saying that Devil's Path is uh, a little bit easier than the Great Range. Um, but then you read some of the articles. Uh, Backpacker says it's one of the most dangerous hikes. Outside says it's uh, one of the top 20 dangerous hikes. Great Range is one of the toughest hikes in the East. So now that we've done both of them, we kind of wanted to talk about them and compare the two differences uh, between those two paths. So Tom, can you uh, c compare and contrast the stats of the two hikes? Yeah, so uh, as we did our research for both hikes, it seemed like there was a range of uh, different parameters and different specs, but what we found from our own experience with uh, similar GPSs on both routes, uh, for the Great Range, one thing that was nice is it was a loop, uh, so that had some advantages in the whole trip, but we figured it to be about a 25 mile round trip at 10 summits, the last summit being the highest one in New York State at 5,500 feet. It took us just under 17 hours and we figured about 12,000 vertical. For Devil's Path, uh, which for sure has a much more interesting name than uh, Great Range, but what we discovered, uh, it took us a little over 17 hours, 17 hours and about 30 or 35 minutes. Uh, we only had six summits. One was a partial on Hunter, but there were six legitimate summits ranging from 3,500 to 38, which seemed trivial, but in the end uh, were quite challenging. And our elevation gain was about 9,000 to 9,500. So uh, let's talk about difficulty and effort. Um, for me, I would say they're, they're kind of on par. It was both a long day, there were long slogs, Lots of, lots of effort going up and down the hills. Uh, the one part, I would say that the Great Range has a lot more elevation, so you're doing a lot more climbing, a lot, I think a lot more rock scrambling over large rocks vertically. On the Devil's Path, there's smaller, it seemed like there were smaller rocks, a lot more uneasy uh, footing. It was definitely slippery because of the time of year, I think, you know, it was pretty dry for when we did the Great Range. Here we did it uh, with leaves on the ground, which made it an extra challenge. Um, but I would say it's a toss-up for, for the amount of effort um, for me. How about you, Tom? Yeah, I, I think they were both equally challenging. There were some pluses and minuses with both. Uh, the night travel, because this time of year being the fall, you don't have daylight for the entire 17 hours, but the night travel on Devil's Path, and maybe that's because we were close to hell, who knows, but in any case, the night travel was quite a bit more difficult. On the Great Range, we had a relatively flat, easy hike six mile out, which was mentally tough, but physically was, uh, was pretty straightforward. Contrast that to Devil's Path, we had some Mother Nature elements that worked against us between a lot of leaves on the loose rocks, fog and dampness, the rocks were sweating because of the high humidity, and uh, based on the uneasiness that Mike mentioned, those downhill descents in the dark when you're tired and sore uh, were extremely challenging. One of the other differences, as Tom mentioned, uh, the gr Great Range we did as a loop, and this one was a point-to-point -point where we staged mountain bikes and had to camp. So we had uh, a little bit more weight in our packs. Now, um, my pack was just around 20 pounds, 22 pounds, I think, with water. Uh, what was your pack? Yeah, mine was about 19 with, uh, you know, a full lightweight two-man tent with poles and two liters of water for sure. But looking at the Great Range, pretty much I had water and a uh, rain jacket and some emergency gear. So it was you know, drastically less weight going on the Great Range um, where the Devil's Path had a lot more weight. Yeah, I think the easily 10 or 
or maybe 12 pounds extra weight. I think that increased the fatigue factor for sure because as you know, right, the more weight you have on your back, the more strain your, your body is going to take. So that, that definitely was a key factor in increasing the effort on Devil's Path. The, the one thing at Devil's Path, as we're reading about it, it, it has a reputation of being one of the most dangerous hikes in the country. I guess uh, at least one person dies a year. There's a few steep parts, no steeper than uh, some parts in the Adirondacks coming down uh, as we did the Traverse, that you come down the backside of Saddleback and also the backside of Gothics. Those are pretty steep uh, descents. Uh, there was a couple steep scrambles uh, on the Devil's Path, but th at no point did I feel my life was in jeopardy or you know there was any parts where I kind of you know, got nervous walking across a really narrow ledge or anything like that. So I, I think that's a the the dangerous factor of Devil's Path is a little um, overblown. What do you think? Yeah, I would agree. I think it's you know there's risk in any time you do something uh, you know outdoors. The terrain was a little tricky because a lot more loose rocks, but. Um, you know, overall, I think they were similar. One thing I really liked a little bit more in the Great Range had a lot more uh, bald summits, so the views were significantly better. One, because you're higher, so you can see more. But but two, you had more. Uh, you had ten summits, so you had more chances to see views. Whereas Devil's Path, you had some lookouts, but uh, you didn't quite get the same kind of views that you did up in the high peaks of the Adirondacks. Yeah, I would I would definitely agree with that. The the Great Range was spectacular, um, where you could see, you know, you had a different view of the Lake Placid and High Peaks region. Um, the bald summits are they're they're fun to climb, and they're also uh, give you 360 degree panoramic views of the area where a lot of these mountains there were lookouts that gave you some great views the time of year that we went being fall uh, was really nice fall colors but you know what it was all, all of the summits being uh, you know as Tom said we had to figure it out on our GPS they, they were all anticlimactic all right, so let's do a recap of what we talked about. So from a purely statistical point of view, we think the Great Range wins hands down. More vertical, more miles, even though it took us less time, uh, we think that definitely wins uh, by way of statistics. The other point was, you know, level of difficulty. Uh, statistics can lie. So. By way of level of difficulty, the way we actually hiked them, we'd say it was a toss-up. Uh, we would be interested in doing the Devil's Path without packs, and if it was under relatively drier conditions, we think the Devil's Path would be slightly easier. Don't you agree, Tom? Yeah, I would think so. I think going into it, my perception was uh, with a lower elevation and less summits, it was the uh, slitty, city slickers version of a uh, true northeast Adirondack hike. But as the hike went on and the terrain uh, was quite a bit looser and the conditions were a little less favorable, uh, it continuously got more and more of my respect. It, it definitely ranks up there as uh, one of the tougher challenges when you mix in the heavier packs and the multiple logistics. It's uh, it's worthy of, uh, of a high ranking of difficulty for sure. Okay, and then the final the final way uh, comparing the two is the, the, the summits and the scenery. And, and for me, hands down, great range wins. I love the, the, the exposed summits, the, the bald summits. Uh, on, in the Adirondacks, we didn't get that in the in the Catskills. So for me, definitely the the Great Range wins. How about for you, Tom? Yeah, I think uh, scenery for sure. The the Great Range excels. Uh, one thing that was nice with the Devil's Path was that uh, there was a lot of fall colors. So we were able to see a lot of the when we did get views. We were able to see a lot of color changes, which which was a nice bonus. So final verdict, 
great range wins, but the Devil's Path is definitely a worthy contender and a very, very close second. Yep, I would, uh, I would agree totally.